Hello friends, I am Oxan Singhle from Ingle and Sons and in this video we are going to see a error in Python. Okay, this time it's not a Java error. Last time also I uploaded a Python error and this time also I am going to upload, I mean going to tell solution of a Python error. Okay, which will be in Python. So as you know ID I use PyCharm only. So in PyCharm I will open here. And I will show you the error. So this is my program, which is uh, error. As you can see, it is here and here. So what is the error? What is this thing that I'm just going to tell you after some time? So first, let's see what is the error. So to run, as you, if you saw my last video, or if you know also, then to run in PyCharm, right click here and run. And this video is not for the Python beginners. Okay, this is for who know, um, oops. Okay, oops means object oriented Python programming. Whoever knows object oriented programming, okay, object oriented Python programming, for them only this is okay. So, who know oops, that means object oriented programming is called oops. So, who know oops, who knows oops Python? Uh, so, you must be knowing this what is constructor, okay. But also, if you don't know by any chance, if you don't know, then I am going to tell you afterwards. First, let's see the error. See. Error it is saying what? See, error it is saying print details take zero positional arguments but one was given. What is this? This means what is my print detail? Print detail is my a function. It is a function. Okay. Where uh, see first of all what is happening in the program? Let me tell you. See, I will just zoom it. That is it. And now I'm going to tell you what is basically happening in the program. See, first of all what I did? I made a, a class that is employee class I made and there I give number of leaves okay some variable I gave number of leaves that and I gave its value as 8 okay then I came here and I made a, a suppose any employee name uh, we want to make its account only suppose it's just like an account only okay so I clicked here so I mean I made a account type something that is a uh, First of all, I made an employee that is uh, Akshu. Okay, so just for example, then I gave its name Akshu dot name. Uh, then uh, in uh, this, I gave the name. Then dot salary I did Akshu dot salary four fifty five suppose. Then Akshu dot role I gave what is the role? It is he is the instructor. Okay, then another employee I made. Okay, Rakesh. Okay, then Rakesh dot name will be rakesh then rakesh dot salary four five five four okay just for example and rakesh dot role student just i did here uh, example okay now here what is happening uh, suppose uh, i want to print all these details suppose i want to print uh, details for akshu so what uh, i will need to do is i will need to if i do your dot employ the dot employ if I do here and then run it, okay. So here, if I print only Akshu, then uh, it will give me the details. So here what I am doing is uh, I have uh, typed the name separately Akshu dot name equals to then I have typed the name then Akshu dot salary also I have typed separately here and role also I have given separately here same for Rakesh also okay but what if we can do uh, let me comment out this to comment in PyCharm just to select that thing and just uh, press control plus slash on your keyboard it will be commented okay now here uh, what if then uh, what if that if we type here uh, uh, no need to type uh, suppose uh, what if uh, there is a uh, what if we don't need uh, so now I'm going to tell you that what if we don't need to type these things and uh, just to, uh, just uh, we will type Akshu equals to employ and inside the brackets we will type all the details suppose the name then after comma we will type the salary then again after comma we will type the role that is instructor okay 
and if you print this thing then it will be printed what if like this happens then so yes it can okay we can do this thing and how we can do that with the help of constructor okay for to use that constructors uh, the constructor one is called init okay init is a constructor okay this one so uh So here, uh, so here, uh, if you want to do this thing that I just told you just now, then uh, what you need to do is just uh, just you have to make a function. If you know uh, about constructor, then you would be knowing that you have to make a function. Okay, name it, and then uh, here you have to do this, and then. Here uh, you have to in return okay and you have to modify that uh, uh, that it should return uh, the name is it, it should return something like this in f strings it should return f string we have to type then the name is and then these things okay that, that means it should print when we apply this function anywhere then it should always print there the name is dash 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 suppose for now text uh, take uh, Akshu only okay the name is Akshu salary is uh, 455 and role is instructor okay so it should print something like that so for that what you will do you will make you will need to make a function okay but uh, in this uh, in this constructor function what it does is it automatically it will take the name of actually not the name it will automatically take this employee as its argument automatically okay automatically this uh, uh, automatically this constructor will take uh, uh, the name uh, the employee as its argument okay so uh, that's why it is showing error that uh, if i run again and if you see properly then it is saying uh, okay 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 just control z it okay perfect now again if i run that then it will say that takes zero positional arguments but one was given means why it is uh, it is saying one was given but we didn't give any argument here as you can see no argument is there but it automatically took our argument no it automatically took this employee as its argument it automatically took the employee as its argument so that's why it is saying zero positional arguments but uh, takes zero positional means it takes only it don't take any argument okay but one was given why because it automatically it does okay it or if it takes automatically the employee as its argument then to handle it we need to type here self self okay after we type self as you can see all the errors are gone because self dot name self dot salary we have set here and then it will automatically when we do this then it will automatically print the uh, this thing okay and all the errors are gone and as you can see automatically it is printing perfectly the name is Akshu salary is 455 and role is instructor okay why because we we type we give self as its argument self means automatically self okay self means automatically so automatically it will take argument and it will handle it okay by itself and then uh, so that is it for this video and about this error so i hope you like this video and uh, your your error is solved so if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more such videos and uh, share this with your friends who are facing this type of error okay and uh, yeah that's it and uh, i'll meet you in the next video till then take care everyone and bye bye